Hello there, and welcome to Quiz Bible, the place where we put your biblical knowledge to the test. I'm so glad you've joined us for this enlightening journey. Please hit that subscribe button down below. Show your support by clicking the like button and type Amen to show your faith. Let us know how well you did by leaving a comment at the end. It's a great way to engage with fellow quiz takers and share your experiences. So let's embark on this biblical adventure with Quiz Bible. Question one, who was swallowed by a great fish for refusing to deliver God's message? A, Elijah. B, Jonah. C, Ezekiel. D, Moses. The right answer is letter B. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. This event occurred when Jonah attempted to flee from God's command to go to Nineveh and deliver a message of repentance. Question 2. What was the name of the man who fell out of a window while Paul was preaching and died, but was later raised from the dead? A. Philemon B. Eutychus C. Onesimus D. Titus The right answer is letter B. Seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down, threw himself on the young man, and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said. He's alive! Question 3. Which woman in the New Testament was known for making tents and supporting Paul's ministry? A. Phoebe. B. Lydia C. Priscilla D. Dorcas The right answer is letter C. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because Claudius had ordered all Jews to leave Rome. Paul went to see them, and because he was a tent maker as they were, he stayed and worked with them. Question 4. In which book of the Bible did a donkey speak to its owner? Balaam. A. Genesis. B. Judges. C. Deuteronomy. D. Numbers. The right answer is letter D. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Balaam answered the donkey, You have made a fool of me. If only I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. Question 5. What was the name of the city where Paul and Silas were imprisoned and experienced an earthquake? A. Philippi B. Ephesus C. Corinth D. Thessalonica The right answer is letter A. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Question 6. Who was the judge of Israel known for his superhuman strength and long hair? A. 
Gideon. B. Samson. C. Jephthah. D. Ehud. The right answer is letter B. He told her all his heart and said to her, A razor has never come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If my head is shaved, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Question 7. Which disciple was a tax collector before being called by Jesus? A. Matthew B. Simon Peter C. James the Less D. Andrew The right answer is letter A. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. Matthew, also known as Levi, left his tax collector's profession to become one of the twelve apostles and an author of one of the Gospels. Question 8. Which disciple was nicknamed the Zealot? A. Simon Peter B. James the Greater C. Thaddeus D. Simon the Canaanite The right answer is letter C. Simon the Zealot and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him the nickname Zealot suggests Simon's possible association with a Jewish political movement known for its zeal and resistance against Roman rule. Question 9. What was the name of the man who was blind from birth and received his sight after Jesus healed him? A. Bartimaeus B. Lazarus C. Nicodemus D. Jairus The right answer is letter A. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. Having said this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go! he told him. Wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. Question 10. Which king of Israel was known for his wisdom, but later turned away from God? A. Hezekiah. B. David. C. Solomon. D. Josiah. The right answer is letter C. King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter, Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites, You must not intermarry with them, because they will surely turn your hearts after their gods. Question 11. What was the name of the man who doubted Jesus' resurrection until he could touch the wounds? A. Thomas B. Philip C. Bartholomew D. Andrew The right answer is letter A. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, 
was not with the disciples when Jesus came. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Question 12. Which Old Testament prophet was taken up to heaven in a whirlwind without experiencing death? A. Elijah. B. Isaiah. C. Jeremiah. D. Daniel. The right answer is letter A. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Question 13. What was the occupation of Aquila and Priscilla? A couple mentioned in the New Testament. A. Fishermen. B. Tent makers. C. Tax collectors. D. Farmers. The right answer is letter B. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because Claudius had ordered all Jews to leave Rome. Paul went to see them, and because he was a tent maker as they were, he stayed and worked with them. Question 14. Which king of Israel was known for his twelve sons, who became the heads of the twelve tribes? A. David. B. Solomon. C. Jacob, Israel. D. Saul. The right answer is letter C. While Israel was living in that region, Reuben went in and slept with his father's concubine Bilhah and Israel heard of it. Jacob had twelve sons, the sons of Leah, Reuben, the firstborn of Jacob, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun. Question 15. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, who passed by the injured man before the Samaritan helped him? A. A priest. B. A Levite. C. A Pharisee. D. A scribe. The right answer is letter A. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. Question 16. Who was the Roman centurion who showed great faith in Jesus, resulting in his servant's healing? A. Cornelius. B. Julius. C. Centurionius. D. Octavius. The right answer is letter A. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. Question 17. What was the name of the man who replaced Judas Iscariot as one of the twelve apostles? A. Silas. B. Matthias. C. Barnabas. D. Mark.
The right answer is letter B. So they nominated two men. Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which of these two you have chosen to take over this apostolic ministry. Question 18. Which woman in the Bible became a widow twice and later followed her mother-in-law, Naomi? A. Esther. B. Ruth. C. Mary. D. Deborah. The right answer is letter B. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah, together with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. The man's name was Elimelech, his wife's name was Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malon and Kilion. Question 19. Who was the high priest at the time of Jesus' trial and condemnation? A. Simon Peter B. Gamaliel C. Annas D. Caiaphas The right answer is letter D. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. Question 20. What fruit did Eve eat in the Garden of Eden, leading to the fall of humanity? A. Grape B. Fig C. The Forbidden Fruit D. Pomegranate The right answer is letter C. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Question 21. Who betrayed Jesus with a kiss, leading to his arrest? A. Peter B. John C. Judas Iscariot D. Thomas The right answer is letter C. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Question 22. What was the name of the city where Jesus was born? A. Nazareth B. Bethlehem C. Jerusalem D. Capernaum The right answer is letter B. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. The birth of Jesus in Bethlehem fulfills the prophecy in Micah 5.2. Question 23. Which prophet was known for his visions of dry bones coming to life? A. Ezekiel B. Isaiah 
C. Jeremiah D. Daniel The right answer is letter A. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. Then he said to me, Prophecy to these bones, and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Question 24. Who was the first murderer in the Bible, killing his brother out of jealousy? A. Abel B. Cain C. Seth D. Enoch The right answer is letter B. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. This tragic event occurred due to jealousy and God's rejection of Cain's offering. Question 25. What was the name of the servant who healed Naaman's leprosy by bathing in the Jordan River? A. Gehazi B. Elisha C. Elijah D. Obadiah The right answer is letter A. When Naaman reached the man of God and saw him standing there, he was surprised that the prophet had not gone out to meet him. But the prophet Elisha sent a messenger to say to him, Go, wash yourself seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be restored, and you will be cleansed. Question 26. Who was the prostitute who helped the Israelite spies in Jericho? A. Rahab B. Tamar C. Bathsheba D. Delilah The right answer is letter A. Then Joshua son of Nun secretly sent two spies from Shittim. Go, look over the land, he said, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there. Question 27. Who was the brother of Mary and Martha whom Jesus raised from the dead? A. Zacchaeus B. Nicodemus C. Jairus D. Lazarus The right answer is letter D. Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Question 28. Which Old Testament character was known for his patience and endurance through trials? A. Jacob B. Abraham C. Isaac D. Job The right answer is letter D. In the land of Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. 
Job's story is characterized by his enduring faith and patience, despite facing severe trials orchestrated by Satan. Wow, it was incredible going through this quiz with you. Don't forget to show your appreciation by clicking that like button and hit the subscribe button below. We look forward to having you with us in the future. Before you go, please let us know how you fared on the quiz. Leave a comment telling us how many questions you got right. Thank you for being part of this quiz Bible experience. We'll see you in the next quizzes.